upon that prayer, Krishna also could understand that uh, Indra being bereft of his uh, sacrificer upon he certainly pouring so heavily accompanied by uh, heavy pieces of ice and strong wind, although the time was out of season. So Krishna could understand that this, this was deliberately the exhibition of anger by Indra. Krishna thus concluded that these uh, demigods who are thinking themselves as the Supreme have shown their extreme powers, but I shall reply them according to my position, but I shall teach them that they are not all in all in the matters of managing universal affairs, but I am the Supreme Lord over all of them. So I shall thus take out their false prestige out of material power. Lord Krishna thought within himself that the demigods are his devotees and therefore it is not possible for them to forget the supremacy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but somehow or other they have become a little bit puffed up to account of their material power and thus they are now maddened with you. As such, I shall act in such a way that they will be relieved from such false prestige. I shall therefore give protection to my uh, pure devotees in Vrindavan who are at present completely at my mercy and whom I have taken as completely under my uh, protection. I must save them by my equally mystic power. Thinking like this, uh, Lord Krishna immediately cut up the Govardhan hill with one hand, exactly like the children uh, pluck up the mushroom from the ground. And thus he exhibited his transcendental first time of lifting the Govardhan hill. After thus lifting the Govardhan hill, Lord Krishna began to address as follows, My dear brothers, my dear father, my dear inhabitants of Navan, you can now safely enter under the umbrella of the Govardhan hill which I have just now lifted. Do not be afraid of the hill and think that it may fall down from my hand. I have been too much afflicted by the heavy rain and strong wind. Therefore, I have lifted the hill which will protect you exactly like a, a strong and huge umbrella. I think this is the proper arrangement for relieving you from your uh, immediate distresses. So you be happy along with your uh, animals underneath this uh, great umbrella. Being assured by Lord Krishna in this way, all the cow men and inhabitants of uh, Vrindavan entered in the hole underneath the uh, great uh, hill and appear to be safe and sound along with their property and animals in that way. The inhabitants of Vrindavan along with their uh, animals remain in that way uh, continually for one week without being disturbed by any hunger or thirst or any other comforts. They are simply astonished to see how Krishna was holding the mountain resting on one finger of his left hand. This Indra, the king of heaven, became too much astonished by seeing the extraordinary mystic power of Krishna. And thus, himself being uh, thunderstruck, baffled in his determination, immediately called for all the clouds, asked them to stop their action. In this way, when the sky became completely clear without any cloud and there was sunrise again, a strong wind stopped. At that time, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, known as the lifter of Gordon Hill, began to uh, address the cowherd's men in Vrindavan as follows. My dear cowherd's men, now we can get out from his great hole, long 
with your uh, mobile children, uh, cows and valuables, because now everything is ended. And the inundation flood has also gone down, along with the uh, flowing waters of the river. Upon these, all the cow herdsmen, along with their respective uh, cows and other uh, paraphernalia, came out of the hole to load their valuables on carts and slowly they cleared off the hole of over the hill. When they cleared off everything, Lord Krishna also uh, very slowly placed the over the hill exactly in the same position as it was before. When everything was done, all the inhabitants of Vrindavan uh, approached Krishna with their uh, feelings that uh, began to uh, embrace him with great ecstasy. And the Bhutis being uh, naturally very much affectionate to Krishna uh, began to uh, offer him God mixed up with their tears of the eyes and began to pour incessant blessings upon him. Specifically, Maharaj Jasada, Maharaj Rahini, Maharaj Nanda, Balaram, who is the strongest of all the strong, uh, began to embrace Krishna one after another and out of their feeling, affection, uh, began to bless him over and over again. In his face also, uh, different demigods from uh, different planetary system as Siddha Loka, Gandharva Loka, uh, Charan Loka, he also began to show their um, complete satisfaction and began to pour on the surface of the world the sounds of flowers. They also sounded their different consoles, beating of uh, drums, being uh, induced uh, by godly feelings and the uh, diligence of Gandharv Loka began to play on their tanbura. After this incident, uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, being surrounded by his dear friends and the uh, animals that he is feeling as Vrindavan and the uh, gopis as usual, uh, began to chant the glorious best times of Lord Krishna, very feeling as if they were chanting from the heart. That's right. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta part part of the 25th chapter in the matter of devastation of Vrindavan. He is now 